all right everybody welcome back to a new video in this one i want to show you guys how you can create those trap guitar beats all from scratch in fl studio i know we have done a lot of tutorials but then i actually realized that i haven't done a proper trap tutorial yet so in this one we are going to make the whole melody from scratch and i'm going to show you guys some more unique stuff you can get to really enhance that trap type of sound then we will of course slap on some crazy drums after the melody so let's not waste any more time let's just jump straight in all right so we are now in fl studio 21 and the guitar we're going to be using for this one is going to be this pick nylon guitar in contact as most of you guys probably know this is my favorite guitar vst at the moment so we are going to be using this one as for the bpm over here we are actually just going to keep it at 140 i feel like the range from 140 to 150 or 155 is the perfect trap type range so let us just keep it at 140 to start off with and then we might switch it up a little bit later on now the key we are going to be working in is going to be b minor so let's just start off by putting down the root notes so since we are working in the b minor scale let's just start off with the B right here. Now we want to drag out this note to the first part like this and then we want to build off of this root note. So let's just copy that over but this time we're going to pitch it down by four semitones. Once we have this part copied over I'm just going to slice it up and then pitch this second part down one semitone. So as you guys can see we are already starting to work in these half steps down here. So that is kind of going to be the main thing we're going to focus on. So we want to try to build this melody off using the half steps we have both here and here. So now when it comes to these trap type of melodies you really want to keep them super simple but also a little bit repetitive so this is pretty much going to be the main element of the first pattern which is going to be our guitar so now let's build a little bit off of this for the first part we just want to act like we're going to make a b minor chord so let's skip the first highlighted note over here put one on the second one again skip the first highlighted note after that one and Put it right there now i did say that we are going to act like we made a b minor chord and the reason for this is because we're actually going to delete this middle note and only keep these two notes right there now let's slice this up into three right there and just pitch this middle note down by two semitones i am also going to zoom in on the first part right here and just make sure to hold alt on my keyboard move this note slightly to the right just so it's a little bit off grid from the first hit right there this is going to make our pattern a little bit more realistic but it's also just going to make it sound a little bit better in general for the second part over here here let's just copy the first top note and pitch it up one semitone so again we are going for those half steps this time we can extend this all the way slice it up in the middle right there and again just pitch this down one semitone so we are keeping the momentum from the half steps lastly we can just add a small little transition note over here so we are kind of keeping this E from the first part a little bit consistent for the second part as well. Now lastly, just hit Control and A, then Alt and R to randomize a little bit of that velocity. This just makes sure that our notes have a little bit of variety when it comes to how hard we are actually pressing the keys. Now lastly, we are just going to copy that over and do a slight little switch up on the second part. So I'm just going to add one small note over here, kind of just to differentiate it from the first part we have. Then just copy that over for the whole eight bars. And that is pretty much going to be our main guitar pattern. Yeah, so it really has that trappy type of vibe. Like I said, it is repetitive and it is pretty simple, but that is definitely the vibe you want to go for. Now, just to enhance that guitar sound a little bit, we for sure need to add some effects to it. So when it comes to using guitar VSTs, I really like to open up CLA guitars to start off with. Then I usually just go over to the presets over here and I press this acoustic shrinking preset. Next, we want to add a little bit of reverb, but I'm actually going to do something a little bit unique for this one. So I'm going to open up the Roam reverb right here, but instead of just adding atmosphere to it, I'm actually going to again go over to the presets and this time I'm going to go over to the creative section go over to the guitar reverse right here and just turn down the mix a little bit it is going to give us a little bit of a more unique reverb with some sort of reverse in the background as well Now, since we have a little bit of that reverse reverb i'm also just going to open up valhalla vintage reverb to have a normal sounding reverb as well Now I'm just going to finish off the effects with a RC20 to get that vintage sound. A little bit of course just to differentiate the guitar sound a little bit. And obviously a delay in the EQ just to shaping up the guitar sound to finish it off. So this is the guitar with the effects on. You can definitely hear it enhances the whole sound. 
Now the guitar doesn't really sound that good by itself. So the next step when it comes to these trap type of melodies is that we have to make sure to layer our sounds. So to do exactly that, I'm just going to go over to my Imperial one shot kit right here. And I'm just going to go over to the bells folder over here and drag in a couple different ones. So let's drag in this heart bell first. So when you are using one shots, you just want to make sure to first open it up and switch this over to stretch mode. Then I'm just going to go over to the envelope right here and turn the attack almost all the way down. Turn the hold all the way up and just keep the rest as it is. Then all I'm going to do is just copy the same exact guitar over to the one shot. Now for the one shot, I'm actually just going to open it up over here and pitch the whole pattern down by one semitone. Then with one shots, you really want to make sure to add some effects that kind of switch up the whole sound. So what I'm going to do is just add a half time to really switch up the whole pattern. Then I'm also going to add some reverb just so the sound isn't so dry and we can also add a little bit of delay just using this long ping pong delay preset in effect track yeah so you can definitely hear the bell enhances the guitar sound Next, I'm going to add yet one more layer. So I'm just going to clone this same exact one shot, but I'm just going to switch out the sounds. So let's go and drag in this one. A little bit of a different sound to it. We're just going to copy the same exact pattern over again. But this time, I'm actually going to pitch the whole thing up by two octaves. So it's a little bit higher pitched right there. Now we have a cool main pattern for that one, but we still need to fill out the sample a little bit more and add some sort of counter melody. So just to add some more movement to the sample, I'm going to go over to the guitars and drag in a completely random one. So let's just drag in this one. Open it up and this time all I'm going to do is just press the reverse button right there. Once we have done this, we're just going to lay down a note on the root note over here and extend it out two bars. Yeah, so you can hear the reverse sound in the background. So now to finish off the sample and really add that counter melody, I'm just going to open up a few instances of Arcade and see if we can find a nice little counter melody. Yeah, so we can use this brass firstly. And I can add some more elements. Mm, so I added this little element right here. And I also pitched down the whole sample three semitones. All right, so here we have the whole sample. Quickly just added a bass and a texture to finish it off. So now that we have the whole sample finished, it is time to add some drums. As for the drum sounds I'm using, they are of course coming from my Euphoria bundle kit. So if you guys like the drum sounds you hear, you can obviously check it out. It is on my website, it is bbmarker.com, or you guys can just click the second link down below. So we'll just start with a snap and a little clap right there. Turn up the velocity. I'm quickly just going to layer that clap with a rim so it hits a little bit harder. Mm. Yeah, now it's perfect. Just need to add some hi-hats to get that bounce. Yeah, so this hi-hat pattern works. So when it comes to these super trappy type of beats, you definitely want to have a two-step hi-hat pattern with a couple of rolls here and there. So as you guys can see, I'm really not overcomplicating the rolls. I'm just putting in a couple of rolls where I see them fit nicely. We have a few chops over here as well. And you can also go over to the magnet tool over here and go to third beat and really try to mess a little bit around with a third step pattern on the end. Also, when it comes to these type of beats, I really like to mess around with the open hats. So I have this cool little reverse open hat to start off with just so it kind of stops exactly when the first clap hits. And then I also like to add some different open hats later on and kind of layer them together where I feel like the kick and the 808 would hit. So I lay down this open hat and snare combination, which I feel like would fit perfectly for any type of trap beat. Mm, that's crazy right there. So now let's just build a little bit off of that. So to really enhance that trap type of bounce, I also added a snare roll at the end. Right now to finish off the beat, let's just quickly add the kick and the 808. To be completely fair with you guys, I actually know I have a lot of these trap type 808 patterns in the Euphoria bundle kit. So I'm just gonna open up the 808 midis and drag in a random one that I feel like fits perfectly for this one.
right? So you guys remember that we pitched down the whole sample by three semitones, but in that case, the 808 is going to start on the G sharp, and I feel like it's a little bit too high pitched. So I'm actually going to go into the sample and try to pitch it down a little bit more and see if it makes a difference. Yeah, so I just pitched it down here two more semitones, and this is fire right now. Right, before I show you guys the full beat, I just want to let you guys know that I have released my producer master course. It is literally a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually become a music producer. So I am taking you guys through everything you need to know to actually make good quality beats and samples. And then I am also teaching you guys everything that you need to know to actually make money off the music that you are producing. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, you can obviously just click the first link down below. It will take you right to the producer master course website, or you can just go on my website. It is bbmarker.com, like I said. Just just look for the producer master course you're pretty much good to go right, so here we have the full beat bass in the intro shut up Marco. Marco? Marco? and it drops into the hook drums banging on this one for sure a little bit down right here no kick just the 808 then it drops in again kick and the cannon and the back in then we slow it a little bit down to this bridge Pretty much is the same as the intro. Then it drops back into the hook. 